Seems like you're wrong about the beef with Sexton Jet per his story. Oh, you're talking about this? Yeah, so this is from Jet's story. Shows Sexton asleep right here. Yeah, teammate, we ride together and we fly together. Oh, so, yeah, this is funny. This is cool. This makes me a little bit more of a Jet fan to see stuff like this. But yeah, dude, maybe you are correct. Maybe everything I said or everything I heard is completely off base and there is no beef. I've been told that Sexton didn't care much for the guy, um, that he maybe he talked to his girl a lot, or just put yourself in Sexton shoes for a second. You are the dude at Honda. But then here comes from the 250s another guy that's about to be even more the dude at Honda. Then also take into account that you're Chase Sexton and you like a program to completely revolve around you. It would be pr it would be a, a pretty amazing act of humanity if you weren't at least a little bit annoyed or resentful towards the guy that's coming up to kind of replace you before you've really even got your footing down. Also, you know, Jet went 1-1 again, obviously, yesterday at Redbud. And I watched. The TV was on him when he came off the track both times. And I watched. And I could have missed it. Uh, maybe the angle wasn't right. But I didn't see Sexton... And Jet, you know, if, I didn't see him high five. I didn't see him, you know, fist bump or anything like that. So somebody tell me if I missed it. But you'd think guys that ride beside each other on the flight home and are buddy buddy, you'd think they there would be a, a high five or a fist bump or a good job um, at some point when they cross the checker flag one two, right? Isn't that what all teammates dream of? Is is the one two? Either way, it's a cool story, and there's still a lot of motocross season left. So let's wait, let's watch, let's see how this unfolds.